Hello! Today, what we're going to make is a mini comic. To make one, you're going to need a couple things. One, a piece of paper. And two, a pair of scissors to get you started. Let's begin by looking at one and seeing what they'll look like. This is a mini comic. This is created by Elisa Harris. Money saving freelance tips. Short commute. Cheap entertainment. Eating at home. Save money on laundry. Same outfit every day. Home haircuts. Cat chiropractor. We're going to make one. First thing we need to do is take our piece of paper and fold it. We're going to do a hamburger fold, which means it's going to be this shape, more of a hamburger. Not a hot dog fold, which would make it long. So let's make a hamburger fold. I like to use the table, make my corners meet, and bring my finger to the back and smooth it. There we go. Now I'm going to do another hamburger fold. And actually, one more. Now we've got it the size of the mini comic, but we've got to do a few more things. First, unfold it two times. One, two. And find the end that's folded. Not the open end, the folded end. And in the middle of that folded end, we're going to cut from here to the middle. Maybe you do it in one cut, maybe in two or three. If it goes a little bit further, that's okay. We want it to go at least to it. That's the only cut we need. Now, this part is where it gets a little tricky. You're going to open the book back up and look at how it has that. Hello, how are you? We're going to fold it down so that it makes this diamond shape. Can you see that? And then press that together. flatten it out and then I'm going to fold it maybe this way either way down and now we've got eight pages the cover one two three four five six seven Eight, the back. Let me open it back up and show you that fold. Again, we have it like this. We cut into the folded part, not the open part. Opened it up, folded it down, hot dog fold, long ways. Now we've got these parts that are probably going out like that. Those are going to come together. Feel free to rewatch this. Now, maybe you don't have paper or you get uh, really into this and you want to make a lot but you don't want to use all your paper. That's okay. You can actually do it using a grocery bag. If you have a grocery bag, you can make a piece of paper or a few pieces of paper out of it because on the inside of the grocery bag, there's no printing. Here's a bag that I cut off this whole side from. And I could get more paper out of this and this. 
I cut it to about the size of a piece of paper and I made a mini comic ready to be drawn in. It's kind of cool making it out of the news, uh, out of the shopping bag. Now I'm going to show you one of the favorite mini comics that I've ever gotten. I keep this in a pocket of my coat so you can see it's gotten beat up. It's called This Is For You, A Gentle Note by Anastasia Longoria. I know today was rough. It hurt. It brought out raw, tender feelings. You survived the fire. You're here. You're here, and I'm so glad you are. In your existence, you have brought something kind, something gentle to our world. In you reading these words, it continues to exist through you. You make the world kinder. I couldn't be more grateful to you. I hope in this world you feel like you matter just a little bit more. Today was difficult, but you made it through. You can make it through again. I'll be here for you if you need me, if you need to feel like you made something matter again. Thank you for being here. Thank you for reading me. And I'll see you again, friend, when you need me. You can make your mini comic about anything you want. Some ideas. You could make a gentle note for someone. and let somebody know that you appreciate them and then give it to them. Or you could keep it for yourself too. You could make a list comic. Think about something that you can make a list of and then draw a picture showing everything on that list. It could be plants around the house, animals you like, superpowers you wish you had. It could be anything. Hmm. Let's see. What should I make my mini comic about? I think I'm going to make a list comic to make it easy since it's the first one I've made in a while. Let's see. I'm stuck in the house. I know. I'm going to do games in my house. I'm going to start in pencil. What can I show to represent games? Ooh, I know. Tic-tac-toe. I'm going to actually draw from life. So I'm going to bring the games over here, look at them, and draw them. something, pick it up right away. Same thing with art supplies.